Well, hello, this is Brandon Ivey, Global Power with Shopping Sherlock, and with coming to you with another video for new e-commerce news. And this e-commerce news today is about a major, major transaction taking place in the world of online social media. And it's titled, Facebook Buying Messaging App, WhatsApp for $19 billion. $19 billion. Now, let's read this article here. Facebook is buying mobile messaging service WhatsApp for $19 billion in cash and stock. By far the company's largest acquisition and bigger than any that Google, Microsoft, or Apple have ever done. The world's biggest social networking company said Wednesday that it is paying $12 billion in Facebook stock and $4 billion in cash for WhatsApp. In addition, the app's founders and employees, 55 in all, <laughs> <laughs> will be granted restricted stock worth three billion dollars that will vest over four years after the deal closes. <laughs> well, I gotta stop right there for a second. You've got 55 people in this company, WhatsApp, that is going to be sharing three billion dollars worth in stock. In other words, they're all millionaires overnight. The deal translates to roughly 9% of Facebook's market value. In comparison, Google's biggest deal, Motorola Mobility, stood at $12.5 billion, while Microsoft's largest was Skype at $8.5 billion. Apple, meanwhile, has never done a deal above $1 billion. The price stunned, stunned Gartner analyst Brian Blau. I am not surprised they went after WhatsApp, but the amount is staggering, he said. Facebook likely prizes WhatsApp for its audience of teenagers and young adults who are increasingly using the service to engage in online conversations outside of Facebook, which has evolved into a more mainstream hangout inhabited by their parents, grandparents, and even their bosses at work. This is a bet on the future for Facebook, Blau said. They know they have to expand their business lines. WhatsApp is in the business of collecting people's conversations, so Facebook is going to get some great data. In that sense, the acquisition makes sense for 10-year-old Facebook as it looks to attract its next billion users while keeping its existing 1.23 billion members, including teenagers, interested. The company has said it will develop a multi-app strategy, creating its own applications that exist outside of Facebook and acquiring others. Facebook seems to be an acknowledgement that people are using a lot of different apps to communicate, said e-marketer analyst Deborah Aho Williamson. In order to continue to reach audiences younger in particular, it needs to have a broader strategy, not put all its eggs in one basket. Facebook said it is keeping WhatsApp as a separate service, just as it did with Instagram, which it bought for about $715.3 million two years ago. WhatsApp has more than 450 million monthly active users. That's it. I've never even used WhatsApp. Kind of heard about it. In comparison, Twitter had 241 million users at the end of 2013. Man, this app took off. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg says, WhatsApp is on path to reach a billion users. The services that reach that milestone are all incredibly valuable, Zuckerberg said. WhatsApp, a messaging service for smartphones, lets users chat with their phone contacts, both one-on-one -on -one and in groups. The service allows people to send texts, photos, videos, and voice recordings over the internet. It also lets users communicate with people overseas without incurring charges for pricey international texts and phone calls. It costs $1 per year and has no ads. Isn't that interesting? The app is only one buck. And they just got a multi-billion dollar buyout. The deal is expected to close later this year. Shares of mineral-based Facebook slid $1.12 to $66.94 in extended trading after the deal was announced. Now, why is this big? Because we are seeing a, a consistency here of the trends of the marketplace. People are moving and maneuvering and positioning and shifting and adapting to e-commerce, 
social media, smartphones, mobile apps, people's engaging in this industry. Where a company that just got started 10 years ago, that's a multi-billion dollar company, 10 years later buys another e-commerce company for $19 billion. <laughs> you know, I remember back in college they said that we are educating our, our students for a world that does not even exist yet. 10 years later, a new billion dollar company buys another billion dollar company or buys another company for billions. What does that equate to my company, Shopping Sherlock? Because Shopping Sherlock is in the e-commerce arena and has a mobile app as well and is providing a service that nobody knows about yet. This will be the next billion dollar company, but what's more impressive for me is that this company is offering equity ownership in the company. So what happens three to five years down the road when a company approaches Shopping Sherlock and offers a deal like this. Those people who are positioned will end up like these 55 employees of WhatsApp. Timing and trends are in front of you, ladies and gentlemen. Time for you to get yourself positioned as well. My name is Brandon Ivey, Global Power with Shopping Sherlock. Bye-bye. <laughs>